What's going on guys, this is Chad from KP here to present you with our newest video on the XTAR Dragon VP4 Plus. Uh, probably the nicest charger that we've ever carried, uh, definitely the nicest charger that I've ever used. So uh, without delay, let's, let's dive down low and we'll take a look and see what this thing's got going on. Okay guys, we're going to take a look at what we got in, down below in this nice little XTAR bag. Uh, that's pretty much all that was in here, we just pulled it right out. So let's give her an unzip, let's see what we got. Uh, car charger. Uh, power cable, uh, battery charger itself, ooh, fancy, and some probes, right? Probes, okay. So, the one thing I'll say after plugging this in right now is that is an awful short cord, but that's okay. We'll, we'll forgive it this one time. Uh, maybe a three-footer, that's all right. Um, so here we are at the main screen right here. Uh, we brought some demo batteries. We actually got some... Most people probably don't know, but uh, at our East Mesa location, our Tempe location, we offer battery recycling. So we have some fantastic batteries here, brand, brand new right there, brand new, that uh, people have donated. Um, and we are going to recycle them, but I figure why not, uh, why not put some junky batteries on here and we'll see what we got going on. So it does, uh, it will auto adjust for wherever you put the batteries on here. I've messed with this thing for about a week now. Um, so it should pick them up as long as they're not dead. Some of these honestly might be dead. So here we see the uh, we see the screen displaying the actual milliamp hours. Um, I think that that's a really cool feature to show. I mean, it shows the percentage like any other battery charger does, but it also shows you the actual milliamps that are going on there. Um, you can keep keep an eye on something like that and see uh, see what kind of capacity your battery has and how much you're actually putting back into it. <laughs> So one of the core things that I want to talk about that this charger actually does is something that I'm not used to a charger doing. So a lot of chargers when they, uh, a lot of chargers can do a USB charge, but what a lot of them do is they actually charge uh, based off the batteries here. So like you put, you throw charged batteries on here and it uses these batteries to charge out of the USB slot. Uh, that's garbage. Uh, I want to use these batteries for vaping. I don't want to use them for... Uh, for charging my phone, I want to use the charger for that. It's a charger. So, I'm going to take a nice little handy dandy LG here and we're going to plug her in. And as you can see, it shows USB right here showing. Uh, the other cool part about it is it will actually two amp charge while it's charging. I realize I don't have four batteries in here, but it will two amp charge while it has four batteries in here, which is really nice. So, this thing's got some power behind it. So we're here at our main charging screen. Uh, in order to get into the uh, test lead screen, boop, we're just gonna touch these guys together. So we're gonna use the test leads now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna test this battery. This is a great way to test a battery's health. So, lower is better, not as far as voltage, but as far as the actual uh, the actual milliohms that it's showing there. Voltage is gonna be voltage, it's gonna go up to 4.2, but uh, that's gonna be the battery, that's gonna be the number that tells you the health of your battery right there. Uh, and this battery, this battery charger also does have a rescue function as well. Um, you just put your battery on here, and I think we had some down uh, around the, the 2.5 area, uh, which is very, very over discharged. Uh, put it on here, and what it'll do is it'll charge it slow until it gets up into a regular voltage, and then it'll keep going from there uh, until it is fixed. This charger will do uh, two amps from the inside two bays, and it'll do one amps across all four, so four total amps, uh, only two amps across two bays. And you can also have uh, you can also have four batteries on here, like I said earlier, and charge and charge a phone out. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the charger now, and we'll see what's going on back there. Yep. So right here, we're gonna have this is gonna be where you plug in your test leads to. It looks an awful lot like a USB, but it's just a little bit different. If you try and cram a regular USB in there, it'll it'll feel a little funky. Uh, right here is where you're gonna plug your uh, charger into. Um, your charging cord. Right here is going to be your actual USB charge that you're going to charge uh, your phone with or if you want to charge, like I'll charge my uh, some of my DNA 200s with this one while I'm charging this up. And then right here is going to be your actual LiPo charger. Now I don't have a LiPo to show you guys today, um, the LiPo charging, but it does work and it's going to be a maximum of one amp on your LiPo cells, uh, which it says right there. And give a shout out to XTAR for labeling this stuff really clearly and all the, all the stuff that they put on here is correct as well. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for our first look into the 
XTAR Dragon VP4 Plus Charger. Um, if you guys want to see this one in action and you happen to be an Arizona local, just make sure that you stop into one of our retail stores, one in Tempe, one in East Mesa, and we'll be happy to give you guys a look. Um, throw your batteries on the charger like we always do anyways, but uh, test your battery's health. Um, if you got a LiPo, we can show you that. Uh, all that good stuff. If you guys like the video, just make sure that you leave a like down below. Uh, if you like our content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. And if there's anything that you guys would like to see or any questions that you have about this charger or anything else regarding vaping, uh, just leave it down below in the comments and we'll get to you guys as soon as we can. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.